Hey everyone. So what is an upscaler? The concept's actually really simple. Everyone has seen the terrible trope in shows like CSI and whatnot where they'll have an image of a, I don't know, a license plate or something and they can't tell what it says so they'll say zoom in, enhance, zoom in, enhance, which for the most part was all BS. However, now with actual image upscalers, it's, it's gotten to the point where you can actually do that. No, it's, it's not ever going to be perfect, or at least for the time being, it's not going to be perfect, but it can only interpolate so much information until it isn't realistic anymore. So anyway, these image upscalers that are now available, especially because of AI, have gotten much better, and now the question is, why would you want to use it? Well, again, originally it was for any photos you had taken in the past that you didn't have a good quality image of and you just want to see a much better version that you would like to print out or make a poster of or whatever. But now because of AI, the need for it or the want for it has exponentially increased. And the main reason why AI has done this is because places like Midjourney or Leonardo or Dolly or any of them, the image that they would actually give you tend to be pretty low resolution. They've gotten better but especially originally they were really bad, but still they're at the point where the images might not be usable for everything you want to do with them. For instance, if you wanted to print out a poster, if you wanted to make, I don't know, a t-shirt, uh, print out photos, even online sales, a lot of people are making images with Midjourney and bringing into sites such as Wirestock and selling basically a stock photography or again for people to use your images and use them for posters and t-shirts and mugs and anything you can think of nowadays, mouse pads, whatever. But sometimes it just comes down to the fact that you want a better looking image. You want to be able to see the image larger on your screen or you want to print it out yourself. And that's all that really matters is what you want to do with it. You want a larger image. So take that image and put it in an upscaler. Now, how do you do that? Well, first of all, all the different image creators like Midjourney, etc., have, I guess, technically an, an upscaler built into them. Midjourney isn't really upscaling it. It gives you four images. And then if you say you want one, you like one, it says you're upscaling, but all it's really doing is it's taking an image that was all four together, that was 2048 by 2048, and then cutting the four images apart and giving you one image that's 1024 by 1024. So it's not really upscaling it. However, recently, within actually this week, they have, they did announce and it is now available where you can do an upscale in mid journey. This does, however, use up your hours, minutes, credits, whatever they call it in there. So you are paying for it. Then again, if you're using Midjourney, you're already paying for it, but you might be limited on the amount of minutes or hours that you have available. Now for something simple like Dolly 3, if you're using it through the Bing image creator, there's just no option. It just automatically gives you a 1024 image. By 1024 square, that's all you have. Nothing else you can do. I'm not really sure what ChatGPT4 does. So I don't believe you can. I still believe you're stuck with the original image size. Now the other thing is they have like Leonardo. This is where it's, it gets a lot more complicated with other things like Leonardo. Where they just have all their own proprietary stuff. Leonardo is great. However, it's gotten quite convoluted as far as all the settings and stuff that you can choose. I mean, if you really get into it, it can be great, but it's insane at the same time. But anyway, even if you're using the free stuff, it does have upscaling, but there's like four or five different types, if not even more by now, of upscaling. And sometimes, you, first of all, you have to use it because the images that you get that are the low resolution look all janky and sometimes there's just problems with it. And the upscaling itself will sometimes fix those problems. And it's almost neat. I mean, you have to use it in order to get the image that you actually want. However, when you do use the upscaling in Leonardo, it's, again, quite costly. It uses up a lot of credits very quickly. So unless you're paying for it and you have a lot of extra, it's painful to use the credits that quickly. And then there's other times in Leonardo where when you do upscale, you get some very weird results like these. I don't think these turned out the way they were supposed to. So as we're actually using an upscaler, most times I've seen recommendations 
for any of them from either other YouTubers or just doing a search online for them tend to be websites that have image upscaling on them. The main problem is usually they give you a couple free upscales and that's about it. Otherwise you have to start paying after that and that's what the majority, at least to what I've found, tend to be. Otherwise there are some free ones out there. And I say free as in yes you can upload an image and yes they will give you an upscale and you can keep doing that without being charged for it. But then you run into other problems. First of all, a lot of them, or most of them, require you to sign up for them. They might try to sell you other features. There'll be ads all the time on their site. There'll be limitations to the file sizes that you can upload. Most of them will not allow batch functionality. In other words, say you have 100 images and you need them all upscaled. You're gonna have to do one at a time. You might come across a couple sites that do allow it, but again, it all comes down to do you trust these sites with what you're sending them? Do you want to deal with signing up for them? Do you want to deal with the ads? Not to mention, they all have terms of service. Trust them if you want, but a lot of the time, it's just going to mean they have the rights to whatever images you're uploading. So in the end, what it really comes down to is the fact that I would much rather have my own piece of software on my own computer where I have absolute, complete control over that software and I'm able to do batch functionality where I can put in 300 images if I want all at once don't have to deal with advertisements it's completely open source and I don't have to worry about any terms of services and I can do it all on my own time I can do one of these large batch file upscale of say 300 images and I can start it I can go to bed and I can wake up the next day and see that they're all done and I can deal with the image files at that point so before I really get started and get into the software, I just want to reiterate, I know the title already says it, but the software that I'm going to be showing in this in this video is Mac only. I will be making another video shortly after this that will showcase a piece of software that does pretty much the same stuff, might even be better, but I haven't tested as much, but it is for Linux, Windows, and still Mac. So for those of you that are Mac users and you're still here, Let's first go into the App Store. And there in the App Store, it's very simple. Just do a search for Freescaler. And there it is. For you, it'll probably say get it right here. As for me, it says open since I've obviously already installed it. But all you gotta do is hit get it. And you can see there's also no in-app purchases because the whole thing is available for you for free. All right, so I'm just going to open up Freescale, Freescaler, excuse me, and here's the app. As you can see, it's a very simple interface. I mean, even the settings alone, you open up settings. I've never even bothered touching those first two. It doesn't seem like it even matters to me. Uh, the main thing is you have the option between JPEG and PNG. Unless they're images that you really need to make sure are not compressed and in great condition, I would keep it on JPEG. Otherwise, file sizes get to be rather large. I mean there's times where I'm doing over 100 images and the images after doing a 4x scale on them can end up being 75 megabytes a piece. So all of a sudden you're talking about seven and a half gigs and maybe even more. And when you end up doing more and more files it'll fill up your hard drive pretty quickly. So like I said, simple settings. Really the only main thing you need to worry about is whether or not you're going to be using photo or anime. I if you want to try out the drawing and the sharpened image, go for it. I've just never had to use for them. I don't know how long they take. I just, I've tried them and they don't seem all too different. Most images you're going to want to use photo. Unless you have actual line art from anime or from comic book, then use the anime. It goes absolutely super fast. I mean, you can use the anime for photos too and it'll look decent. It's just never going to look as good as if you use the photo option. So when you're using the photo option, this one right here, whoops, photo option, it's actually using an open source upscale, which is called ESRGAN, as in just the letters E-S-R-G-A-N. I don't know exactly what it stands for, but it's a pretty well-known standard as far as I know, as far as upscaling. Either way, the point is it's completely open source. This software itself is open source that uses an open source upscaler. I can't reiterate it enough. It's completely free. 
and you can do whatever the heck you want with it. All right, so let's start with some images. Let's first let's just do some single images, just to get an idea of what this can do. First, I'll start out with the photo, just so you can get an idea. So there's multiple ways you can bring an image in. The easiest way is if you know if you have the file available, like I do right here, is literally just drag it on there and let go. Otherwise, you do have the option in here to either import or even go to file. Um, I guess you can't go to file. But one feature that I found recently that I didn't even know about that makes it pretty nice is you can actually just right click the image, go to upscale image, and that automatically brings it right in. So there it is in there. It's not upscaled yet, just so you know, that's the actual just regular image. And then all you have to do at that point is, like I said, either pick photo or anime, get 4x and 2x and 3x. This is one thing that I believe is actually broken. If you pick two or three, I believe you still get 4x no matter what. 4x is fine. You're welcome to try the TTA mode if you want. I have never had really a use for it. It does greatly increase the time it takes to actually upscale the image. So. Like I said, I don't really think it's worth it, especially if you're doing a batch of a ton of images. All right, so when you're ready and you've got your settings in that you want, just hit up scale and get ready to go. I'm gonna put up a little timer in this and then I'm gonna fast forward through the whole thing. Now this isn't gonna start exactly at the right time, but it'll give you a pretty good idea of how long this is taken. So I'm gonna hit up scale. All right, it's not bad. I kind of stopped it there a little early, but say 43 seconds. So let's look and see what we got. So this is what I like, How This is my favorite part is the swiping. You can see how, how much better, just the horse first, how much better that looks. And then the face, his face, the his hair. I mean, just every single thing just looks so much better. And you're not even being able to see this at full resolution because we're talking about uh, what is this? I believe 4096 resolution. So, yeah, that's not going to show correctly on my monitor. And one thing you can see in the back here, whatever the rod or whatever it is that the Headless Horseman's carrying, see how it's kind of jagged looking? That's not actually how this image looks. It's just because that's how it's displaying it in, in Freescaler. The anti-aliasing is actually much better on that. It'll be nice and clean. Actually, here's what it looks like in preview. Yeah, you can see it looks much better. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. It takes 43 seconds to get a much better image like that. It's amazing in my opinion. This is what an upscaler can do for all your images. All right, so let's do this one more time with a single image and we'll actually do the anime this time. And I'll bring in an image that's actually more of a comic. Yes, it's the exact same prompt. So this one, I'm not even going to probably use the timer because you'll see how fast it is in comparison. But let's hit upscale and see what happens. Yeah, that was real time. So what was that? Two and a half, three seconds. So anyway, this does it perfectly. Meh. Awesome. Meh. Awesome. So after you've upscaled your image and you're ready to save it, you have three options. You can either go up to share and save as. I try to not do this because you can see right next to it is this clear button. I have accidentally hit that clear button after I've done hundreds of images and all of a sudden they're all gone and I didn't save a single one. Terrible design choice, but it's there. So the other options are just go up to file and save as or just command s command s will bring up a window save it where you want to save image done all right so let's clear that out of there and now for the fun stuff the batch up scaling so let's go back to our files and now i can just take an entire folder and drag and drop it it's going to do the same thing but just so i can show you again this has the same option where you can right click it but say go to services and upscale all images in folder and that will just do the obvious so there's our images so what is that 26 
So now just make sure you have the correct setting, which should be photo at this point. However, you can see I have a couple images like this one here and this one here that are probably would be better with the anime, but I'm just going to show you them all at once. But just to get an idea, again, these are full size 1024 images. And if I did anime, this is how fast it's going to go. Done with image one, done with image two, done with image three, and so on. So yeah, it's kind of insane. So one thing that is nice about this is while it's doing all of these, you can click on any one you want. And because I'm doing anime, I'll show you this one. And you can look at it while the rest are still going. You can see how well it's working. I mean, this is beautiful. So just close that. And then, like I said, you can open up any of them you want. And see how they're doing. So we're going to stop that, even though it's almost done anyway, because the anime is so fast. I'm going to bring the timer in here. Now, if you ever stop it early, you will not have, you can see the share is not available. So if you go to save, it just won't, you'll have to save them each individually by actually clicking on this button below each one or to the side of each one. So at this point, you can either hit clear or upscale but first we're going to change this over to photo and let's see how long this takes to do all 24 images and I just realized notice how these all say 768 by 768 I don't know why they're not 768 they're 1024 and I can even show you real quick look here any of these see 1024 1024 I'm going to first clear this just because they're kind of halfway done. And I'm going to bring those back in. All right, make sure we're on photo and going to hit upscale and see how long this takes. All right, going to reset the timer here. Make sure we're on photo. Good to go and hit upscale and let's see how long this takes. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll be back in a bit. All righty, almost done. I'm going to take a look at one real quick. Jeepers. Yeah, it looks amazing. And done. So about just over 19 minutes for 26 images. Not too bad. I guess it's kind of the same amount of time for all of them. Let's get rid of the clock. So once you're done, make sure and save all of your work. Again, just be careful if you do use the share here up in the top right that you do not hit that clear button until after you've saved what you want but easiest I'll just hit command s go to where I want this to be oh it was already there wasn't it and hit save images so now they're in the upscaled so you can see even as JPEGs these are already yeah, decent size, but as JPEG, but I mean, you got some of these that are up to 17. So now that you know you have all your images saved, you're pretty much done at that point. So if you want, you can hit clear if you're going to start another whole set, or you can just quit the app and you are done. I'm going to do one more batch of images here, but don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch. But you can see here that these are all small cropped out images from the previous batch that I had already upscaled. So with these, I will easily be able to show you how much of an improvement an upscaler actually is. And regardless of the size of the screen that you're on, you should easily be able to see the difference.
So as always, thank you so much for watching. You are greatly appreciated. And I would love it if you would hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave a comment about the video or any other questions you might have. Again, thank you and have a wonderful day.